Okay, alright. Yeah, uh, hi guys, welcome to uh, the topic of cell division. So, in this uh, topic, one of the more important things include, uh, of course, you should have heard it by now, mitosis, meiosis, uh, something called haploid diploid cell, and this one. This is called cell cycle. Okay, this is the um, first part first part of the uh, this topic but actually there's a video on there's a video on a uh, number of chromosomes so if you haven't uh, viewed that please go through that first huh? okay yeah. okay guys now straight to the point huh? straight to the point cell cycle dalam bn kita panggil ini kita cell dalam bn ini kita panggil kita cell so, Bolika Anda, can you explain the activities involved in cell cycle? Now, if you have done in school, can you give me the two points for definition of cell cycle? And can you give me all the six, seven points for the phases and activities? There are three phases and you must know what happened in these three fasa, these three phases. Okay? Okay, check. First of all, uh, definition of cell cycle, takrif kita cell. Think about, because this topic is what? Cell division. Guys, I'll be using this quite a lot. Cell division means one cell divide to form two new cells. One cell divide to form two new cells. You know, I used to draw this way, uh, something like this. But I don't know why the boys tend to get quite excited. Lah. <laughs> okay, so this topic is about uh, cell division. One cell divide untuk menghasilkan dua cell yang baru. Now, in order for, sorry again, uh, in order for this to divide to form this, the cell must undergo one round of cell cycle. The cell must undergo one round of cell cycle. Baru kita boleh dapat dua cell anak yang baru. Okay. Uh, one more time. Huh? So, what is cell cycle? The period where a new cell is formed. Okay. Uh, cell baru dihasilkan. The period where a new cell is formed. Until this cell completes division. Okay, dalam BM, uh, cell baru dihasilkan sehingga cell ini membahagi untuk menjadi dua cell anak yang baru. Okay, actually cell anak means cell baru lah, so you don't have to repeat lah. Okay, cell baru dihasilkan sehingga cell ini membahagi untuk menghasilkan cell anak. Alright, uh, just have a look at the definition. So the period from formation of a new cell until that cell completes division. Yeah. And guys, uh, there are basically three parts to the cell cycle. Three parts to the cell cycle. This is super clear. Interface, number one. Number two, Mitosis, or sometimes we call it M phase. M phase can be either mitosis or another process called meiosis. And the last one here, last one here, the splitting of the cytoplasm. Dikenali sebagai cytokinesis. We call it cyto cytokinesis. Okay, uh, bear with me uh, one more time. Uh. So what cell cycle? The period where a new cell is formed until this cell completes division. And in short, this involves, melibatkan, involve three things. Interface, mitosis, and cytokinesis. Now, um, earlier part I mentioned this, uh, there are three phases. Three phases, tiga fasa. The three phases does not refer to this, uh. I'm actually talking about the three phases in interface. I'm talking about these three phases in interface. 
dalam interfasal. Right. The first phase is G1, which stands for growth phase 1. Fasa pertumbuhan pertama. Fasa pertumbuhan pertama. If you know G1, you know G2 lah. G2 common sense, growth phase 2. S phase is known as DNA synthesis phase. And that's it. Okay, these are the three phases. G1, S, G2. So do I need to half out all the name? Yes, you must. Okay, ini fasa synthesis DNA. So, um, yeah, maybe you heard this once or twice. Lah. Um, when it comes to learning biology, okay, when it comes to learning biology, if let's say just now, let's say like example, lah, when this question pop up just now, I ask you how to answer this, but you have learned already, tapi tak boleh jawab. Eh, why something you learn? Why something you learn, you can't answer? Because the way you learn, is not uh, effective. Why? Why not effective? Is because you just hafal, hafal bermati matian. You just uh, keep on memorizing. That and when you do that, you lack the understanding. Kefahaman tidak di situ. In biology, uh, okay, I would say for most subjects lah, but uh, especially in biology, the understanding is super duper important. No understanding, you cannot um, answer question even if you have memorized the thing. Huh? Okay, so uh, let's cut to the chase. Hang on. Now, guys, if you actually refer to, to the reference book, they give you so many points. They give you so many points for uh, cell cycle, for, sorry, for interface, but you don't need so many points actually. So if you follow my notes, it's a 4, 1, 4 or 3, uh, 3, 1, 3 la. 3, 1, 3 means uh, 3 points here, 1 point here, 3 points here. That's all. Okay? 3, 1, 3. I'll tell you why the 4, 1, 4 later. La. Means if you are very confident, you can half out one extra point. Okay? Uh, just follow whatever I, I'm teaching you, then you should be fine. Huh? Okay, let's go through this. First step, slow and steady. Eh? Guys, first thing that if you're using my method, this is called ADU. A-D-O, I call it ADU. Now, ADU, how to apply? Lo locate G2. So, ADU, dari atas, A-D-O. Okay, can you see? A-D-O, slot in this three. ATP DNA replication as well as organelles. Okay, uh, what is G1? Growth phase one, correct? So by using this same this same diagram again, by using this same diagram again, uh, now to explain cell cycle, normally I use the analogy. The example of a pregnant lady. A pregnant lady. Guys, let me ask you. When a pregnant lady give birth, when pregnant lady give birth, does the child and mother share organs? Answer is no. Mereka tidak berkongsi organ dan oleh itu, sama juga. Bila sel membahagi, when the cell divide, they do not share organelles. Mereka tak kongsi nucleus, they don't share ribosomes, uh, rough ER, they don't share all this. So how? First step, new organelles must be formed first. New organelles must be formed first. Yeah? And number two, before the cell divides, it actually must grow in size. Okay? Again, same thing, uh, the, the lady. Uh, so, uh, they have to increase in size. Very sensitive thing. Lah. They have to increase in size, then only give birth. Huh? So, growth of cell occurs. And if you know this point, you automatically know the next point. This is a common sense question. What food class? What food class? 
you need in order to grow protein yeah so third point protein synthesis occurs protein synthesis occurs okay so these are the three points for growth phase one new organelles formed okay uh, growth of cell occurs and in order to grow protein synthesis occurs okay clear okay yeah so moving on to s phase revision what is s phase dna synthesis phase all you have to all you have to say is dna replication occurs dna replication if you haven't watched the chromosome video now dna replication simply means this a one chromatic chromosome replicate to form a two chromatic chromosome okay now the last one if g1 growth phase one common sense g2 growth phase two growth phase two first step atp synthesis occurs energy is needed for cell division to occur and before it divides further growth further growth atp synthesis occur further growth of cell takes place and guys same question in order to grow we need protein so third point protein synthesis occurs okay all right now let's apply the same thing i, I know we did one round only but if you get it means you're quite good because i just did one round only so if you can follow during the next round, you are quite you are considered very good already. Eh? Check how to come up with the points for interface. Adu A D O from the top A D coming down to the last one O. Adu G one growth phase one. During growth phase one, new organelles are formed. What is the second point? Remember, I drew this. This one have to grow first, then only can divide. So growth of cell occurs, and it requires protein. So protein synthesis occurs. That's all for first one. S phase DNA synthesis phase is where DNA replication occurs, whereby one chromatid chromosome divide to form two chromatid chromosome. Uh, this for this particular phase you don't have to mention this uh, guys just have to mention dna replication occurs replicacy dna berlaku cukup dah yeah and g2 growth phase 2 for uh, atp synthesis further growth protein synthesis so uh, guys if you see um we can if you realize we can half out the whole we can come up with the whole thing in about one minute if you can do it in one minute, uh, you would beat most of the biology students already. Yeah. Okay, now if you are if you have my notes, it's all there. Uh, if you have my notes, it's all there. Uh, I put it in a table form very clearly and I've included all the points exactly. No extra points. Oh, talking about extra point, if you find that you have controlled this rather well, then you can go for a fourth point. You can go for a fourth point. Means half hour, one more point. Metabolic rate is high. Metabolic rate is high. Okay? But so far, they don't ask for so many points, like guys. So if a 3, 1, 3, 3, 1, 3, you, you are quite safe already. Yeah. Okay, uh, they hardly ask about cell cycle i mean they hardly ask many marks for cell cycle let's look at this uh. Uh, see what. okay this is from spm 2003 yeah just to make sure you um, understand cell cycle well uh. so guys the whole thing is cell cycle yeah revision how many parts of cell cycle are there three parts uh, interface interface 
end phase cytokinesis cytokinesis but why uh, here got another three these are the three phases we just learned a few minutes ago g1 s and then g2 so uh, what um, what is phase x interface uh? what happens in the cell during phase x uh, you can see that you can see that uh, p or if okay you can say that uh, for p new organelles are formed during phase p new organelles are formed if i want a second point growth of cell occurs yeah uh, but i'll just move on to q okay uh, q is dna synthesis phase so dna replication occurs and the last one here r Okay, R is actually G2, G2, G2 ATP synthesis occurs. Okay, guys, why do I only answer three points? Because they ask for two marks, by right, I need two points only. But I give three, extra one point. Yeah. Okay, you're, you're allowed to give extra point if it is a two or more mark question. Two, two marks or more question eh? and it doesn't involve uh, labeling labeling names if let's say labeling names you can only give one name one answer okay okay so uh, basically this sums up cell cycle I hope you really get it clearly and um, yeah so after this you should be moving on to mitosis already yeah? okay cheers